Hello booktube and welcome to the beginning of the vlog. So it's going to be a little bit different this time around. We're starting with chapter one because we have featured authors now, which is fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize up front. Uh, I'm kind of a mess right now. I just kind of woke up a wreck today and it, it hasn't quite stopped. It's gotten a little better. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, background's crooked. I'm not all that put together. I probably don't sound all that great. Anyway, you're not here for my story. Um, yes, like I said, I am extremely low effort right now, and that probably came through on my first tweet about this book, which is totally unfair to Anna. And I'm sorry about that, but I will do my best going forward to be clever for clever. Yes. So we have chapter one. We have our setup. We have got Sienna, who is the bride. She's ready to get, she's getting ready to get her photos, but she's just in her head thinking things over. And quite frankly, we need to put out um, uh, some kind of wanted thing for a surrogate grandmother. I'm sure that Butterfly Harbor has someone in that town that can fill this role. Uh, Sienna definitely needs uh, a calming touch uh, right now. Uh, instead of instead of an engagement, a rushed engagement in marriage, apparently, which I guess kind of segues into another point. Uh, so this is book nine in this series, and I am jumping in here. So I know there's going to be lots of people that um, I'm I'm sure I'm going to be introduced enough to them, and I'm going to enjoy it enough. I'm not worried about that. I just keep getting a little distracted in my head. It's like, oh, is, does this person have their own book? Maybe I should look it up. I'm like, no, no, stay focused. We're just just read this book right now enjoy it. You are enjoying it. I am enjoying it. And we'll do, we'll do good. Now I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was... Uh, oh, back to it. Sienna's in her head, second-guessing this whole wedding thing, going back over it. Uh, this whole thing was rushed. She was still dealing with trauma, Still probably still dealing with trauma from her grandmother's passing. And she finds herself just at this wedding. Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's you know, it's it's rough when, when, you know, you lose those, those that are really close to you. So you can totally, you know, they, they say, don't make any major decisions for a year. And, you know, that's, uh, that's definitely sage advice. So per the title of the book, Sienna runs away and she goes and hides in a boat because they're at a, a yacht club, uh, that's on the Marina. And, of course, whose boat is it? But our hero, Bonte, who shows up and he had just bought this, you know, clunker boat and he's going to take it back to, to Butterfly Harbor, hopefully. He's got to nurse this boat there because it's, it's, it's a clunker, you know. I don't know what the, what the boat term is for clunker, uh, but I'm, I'm sure someone in the comments can fill me in. Jalopy? No. Jalopy is a plane, right? I am good at math not English, so uh, if anyone wasn't already aware. So I am just loving how this setup is progressing. I'm like picturing in my head how it's gonna go and I'm just like rubbing my hands and looking at my lips and I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go this way and it's gonna, the, the reveal's gonna be good. I was a bit surprised. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you how it goes. So there's, there's people in fancy dress running everywhere looking for something and our hero is very stand-up in the situation. I have very much respect, high, high respect for Monty already just with his interaction in the situation. So coming up in chapter two, we're going to have our first real interactions between Sienna and Monty. I don't know. I, I actually don't have any kind of guesses of what kind of dynamic it's going to take, but I'm, I'm excited and I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. So I'll check in after chapter two. Oh, and I forgot I also wanted to speak to, uh, um, there was a lot of nostalgia that was, that was baked into this, at least as it pertains to me personally. Uh, so the Monty has a sister named Frankie, and I love that name. I love that name, especially for a woman. I, I don't know something about it. It's just a good name. And I always think of that 1991 movie with Michelle Pfeiffer and Al Pacino, Frankie and Johnny, which I loved, um, even though I was like eight when that movie came out. So my parents maybe rented it and watched it when I was maybe like nine or something. But I, I don't remember much about it, but I remember enjoying it even as a young kid. So 
I'm gonna have to re-experience that movie because I'm, who doesn't love Michelle Pfeiffer? Hello everyone, I'm back having finished chapter two and feeling a little bit better, so all good things, uh, and definitely all good things. So now Monty and Sienna have, have actually conversed instead of just, you know, being aware that one is hiding on the other's boat. And he is just, he is just so nice. He's so nice about everything. He's just, he's great. He is like the cinemiest of cinnamon rolls I think I have ever read. And, and it's just, it's just wonderful to watch him at work. Especially there's some interactions again with the, uh, the groom that was, was left, uh, was abandoned and Monty just handles him like, like a toddler. It is, it is golden. I'm looking forward to uh, a whole book full of more of Monty here, and we will, we will see where that goes. I think it can only go good places. So I will check in after chapter three. I finished chapters three and four without realizing it. One of the hardest things to do in this this whole project is to stop every chapter and think of something clever to, to tweet and then, you know, talk about stuff in, in the vlog here. So when I'm enjoying the book, it's hard to stop and put it down and, you know, re rehash uh, things in my head and, and everything like that. So what we've got going on right now, Sienna is on Monty's boat. They tr they're avoiding the dad, uh, Vincent is his name, and Richard, the groom that was left. <clears throat> Though Monty does run into them again, has another tiff that makes me very suspicious of Richard. Uh, he doth protest too much. Something's, something's going on with him there, so I've got my eye on him. And there's a discussion of Sienna going to Butterfly Harbor with Monty. And there was uh, a bit, tensions got heated for a moment there because money was mentioned and he's, he's touching on that subject. So we will, we get to see where this boat trip romance goes. For some reason, I started thinking automatically of African Queen and I'm like, oh, so they're going to have to go destroy an enemy patrol boat on the way to Butterfly Harbor. And that's just, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, I don't even think anyone remembers what that movie is. So I will hopefully check in after chapter five. If not, I will do another recap of two chapters. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. Lane has the day off, but they went to go have coffee with their best friend who works opposite schedules, so they had to go do it early in the morning. But that's good. They haven't seen each other in a while. The kids are either asleep or just haven't emerged from their rooms yet. It's Saturday. We'll let it slide. But I finished chapter five of Bride on the Run, and we have embarked on our journey, and there was there was a moment where we thought we were gonna get some trouble. It looked pretty, pretty positive that we were gonna have some trouble with the boat. I'll just say I was disappointed in how things turned out, but it's still early in the book. And I have to remind myself, I'm not reading a Harlequin Presents here. I'm, I'm reading a Harlequin Heartwarming. So, you know, it's easy to go from the pool into the hot tub. That's a quick transition, you know, real smooth transition you can make there. But when you go from the hot tub back into the pool, it's, can I don't want to say jarring because I do, I do enjoy the pool. I actually enjoy the pool usually a little more than the hot tub. But anyway, enough, enough of this analogy. It's just silly. Okay. So things are things are chugging along and I'm um, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep keep plowing through. It You know what? I just th I I just thought of it. This book is a tease. This book is a huge tease. Now that I've come to that revelation, I don't know if I am pleased or upset. I'll have to check in with you later on that. This here is my special lady, Princess Aliana. If that sounds familiar, it's from a book series called Dealing with Dragons. Welcome back, everybody. It's Monday again. Saturday, Lane had off, and so we spent it as a family, doing family things, hanging out, 
And then on Sunday, we went to my mother's house and I helped her make strawberry jam and the kids did their own thing and made them sick on, uh, made themselves sick on eating strawberries. So yeah, successful day as far as uh, all is concerned. I did finish chapter six. So it might seem like I'm moving slowly through this book, but I'm, I'm actually enjoying it very much. I'm reading about a chapter a day, so it might take me a little bit longer just because I got work stuff, family stuff going on. But this has been so enjoyable so far. So they've spent a day at their first stop on their way to Butterfly Harbor, and they're just going around the town doing couple-y stuff. Even though they're not, they're not a couple. They're just, they're just hanging out together until he transports her to Butterfly Harbor. So, but I don't know. They kind of went on a date, and it seemed like a date to me. And yeah, I think they just need to admit to each other that they're married now. Uh, I think the judges of the circumstance can agree that it can just, it can just happen. They can just be married. It's fine. But seriously, I'm starting to wonder what the conflict is going to be between these two because they are so freaking wholesome. It's it's getting to almost, almost, almost too much. Not too much yet, but they are so wholesome. Like, is one of them going to forget to say please and thank you? And that's going to be the conflict between these two? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I will check in later, but I'm hoping for some more cute moments between Sienna and Monty. My goodness. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I finished chapter seven. It, yeah, okay, come on. Pumpkin needed to say hi. Or her tail, to this, at least. All right, chapter seven. So we have, we're back on the water, and we hear that there's been uh, some kind of accident with the butterfly sanctuary at, at Butterfly Harbor. Some people have been injured, and Monty's very nervous. Sienna just, oh, gosh, I mean, like I said, they're already married. They're already married. Sienna does a wonderful job in calming him down, and they are just, they're just so cute. They're so cute together. They have a new companion on their journey, which is wonderful, and I have a feeling this companion's going to stick around. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to just be very vague about things because we don't want to get into spoilers, I can feel. I can feel deeper things coming, so I will fill you in. I don't know if it's going to be exactly after chapter eight. I might start doing it for two chapters. It's just going to depend how much I just want to keep reading and, yeah, how much I've got to say. So I will check in later. Now I've finished chapter nine and we got a deeper look into Sienna and just her relationships with people in her past and everything. It was nice to see Sienna get filled out a little more. Not to say anything was missing uh, up to this point, but just nice to get a little deeper look. So they made another pit stop. There might be a storm coming. And also news that Monty's got a stowaway has made it back to Butterfly Harbor. I'm just like, I'm picturing when they finally get there, the whole town on the docks waiting, waiting to, to see who this Sienna is. So we'll see, we'll see if that prediction comes true. Actually, probably not, because I wouldn't spoil that for you if that does come true. All right, I will check in after another chapter or so. Okay, so we, we just had a moment here. I feel like I should take a moment and explain myself and what happened. I sent out this tweet when, you know, it just, there was, there was just a great moment. There, it was a perfect moment between Monty and Sienna, and it just really would have been great had there just, you know, not been two beds. And so I'm, I made a tweet about it because I found it amusing in my head, you know. You know what it was? It's Lane wasn't here for me to run the tweet through. That's, you know, usually no. I usually, you know, sometimes run, run my tweets through them before I send them out to make sure I'm not just being, you know, well, obviously like I was being here. So I sent out the tweet and then within pages, things got really, really serious. And I, it's just, I, I had marginalized their situation. And so I, I had to, I had to retweet and follow up 
and and make sure everyone understood that I I was taking this seriously and I I'm just going to say it I felt guilty. I felt guilty like it was my fault that this happened to Sienna and Monty and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've apologized for it. I've grown as a person and I'm going to do better moving forward, I promise. And if, and if I don't, you're allowed to call me out on it. All right. So, things have calmed down and we're we're okay. I was very concerned there for a moment. So anyway, enough of this. Let's let's get back to it. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I am on chapter 16. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I know you're here. All right. Sorry. Um, I'm on chapter 16 of Bride on the Run by Anna J. Stewart, and I am just flying through this. I don't know if I'm going to be making another vlog post before I finish the book, so I will check in with you now. We've made it to Butterfly Harbor. Some stuff goes down. It's so hard. Like I don't. I don't even think. I don't even think I can explain it with, without spoilers. With the cat trying to knock my water over, and bonking the monitors and everything. So I will just say, since like you're excited for what's happening next, but then something happens and you're like, oh no. And then you're, and then like it, it, it gets better, and you're like, oh okay, good. And but then like it's not better, and you're like, oh no. It's, a, it's, it's a bit of a roller coaster right now. If you cannot tell, you are not getting my water. So as a wrap up to this rambliness, I'm enjoying myself. I'm almost done with the book, and I don't know if I'm going to check in, but this is wonderful so far. All right, I'm going to end it there. Oh my goodness, how about that? How about that ending, huh? That got crazy. That got, that got like borderline scary at the end. I think that maybe there was like some, some wires got crossed or something, or maybe, oh, you know what it is? Probably that scene was probably originally a romantic suspense that, uh, that Anna was gonna put in something, and, but she moved it over to this heartwarming here. Anyway, very intense, very serious, and we had just some wonderful resolutions. I, I really appreciated how some of the relationships actually turned out in this, in this, the end of this book. It was just oh, so good, so good. And Anna, Anna is just a, a lovely person. I had such a good time reading this. I knew I was going to, and Butterfly Harbor is just such a great place. And you know, thinking about it, book nine was not a bad place to start because we have Sienna, who's an outsider, and the story starts outside, and we make our way to Butterfly Harbor, and we, we get an introduction to it through Sienna's eyes, which, which is almost perfect for someone, you know, if you can't start with book one, I guess start with book nine. <laughs> I am so excited to start on the bad boy of Butterfly Harbor, I believe it is. I believe is what book one is named. So Anna was nice enough to send me a e copy of that book. So I am so excited. I'm going to start reading that now. I can't wait to just keep coming back to Butterfly Harbor. Just going to keep being so much fun. And there's, I'm so curious about all of these people that I've met uh, when we when we got there. And it's just, I just I could I could obviously just go on and on. So if you couldn't tell, I very much enjoyed the book. I very much enjoyed the experience tweeting back and forth with Anna and everyone else that gets involved. Uh, thank you so much. It's so great to have you, everyone along, and and I mean you make it all worth it. Thank you so much to Harlequin for making this all possible. Thank you so much to the heartwarming line. Thank you so much to Anna J. Stewart, and just oh my goodness, thank you to everyone involved. All right, this will wrap it up for Bride on the Run. We all had a great time. Now we got to figure out what we're going to read next. So I will post something about that soon, and I hope you stick with me for it. Take care, everyone.